Okay, great. Well, my name's Medina and <laughs> my channel is Arise Humanity on YouTube and on Patreon. And I also have a website, medina.com. And I am a holistic health practitioner, energy healer, I, I guess you could say a, a teacher, I guess, of um, different spiritual concepts. And um, I am very excited to be talking to my lovely friend in the UK, Alicia, and she's <laughs> going to introduce herself. And um, we're going to talk about all sorts of things. We, we actually had a wonderful chat. It was so good. It was full of great information, really juicy, fabulous. And but we got to the end and then we realized it hadn't recorded properly. So yeah. It's a really great video there. But that's okay because we're doing it today. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure you know it's gonna be the first of many, I should say. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so it's not, please, it please feel welcome to introduce yourself, Alicia. Okay, I will. <laughs> so I'm Alicia. Um I have a Huna name now from uh, Oh beautiful. Yeah. Um, my Huna name is Mariatuma. Wow. So I'm now calling myself Alicia Maria Tuma, Beautiful. which kind of fits quite nicely. It means one who sees first light guarantees to confirm first light. Ah, and I like that. I like that. It kind of resonates. I hate using that word, but you know, it resonates with me. So um, I think it also balances out my first name quite nicely. Um, I I'm a sound healer. I'm a musician primarily, uh, which is another reason I think probably why we clicked. Yes, um, I forgot to mention I'm a musician as well. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Uh, yeah, that's on my list to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. And um, so I've been a musician for 30 years. And I'm also an artist and a writer. And I run a sound healing practice in the UK. Um, I also now have some recordings. So I guess that makes me more international now. I have more international availability. Uh, I work with planet gongs and singing bowls and... Uh, a guided well actually channel I'm more and more beginning to channel my meditations um, before the gong baths now so it's 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 interesting where it's going it's it's getting very mythical actually um, as I heard this topic come up I was listening to you chatting to Todd Medina um, when I was doing my research and I heard the topic of dragons come up well they keep popping in to my meditations and also of course Huna Flash is all about dragons so I think it's it's obviously current <laughs> Um, they, they, they really are a, a, a um, theme this year, aren't they? they they've, they've really um, come to the fore, I think, this year. They've mm. been popping up <laughs> all over the place, These, um, you know, in the meditations and, and, and obviously working with us with this earthly yes. transition that we're going through. I know. No, it's, it's, it, and it's, I think when you finally stop fighting um, <laughs> being mystical, then why the hell not? You know, you, you start mm. to, you can start to enjoy that mystical relationship that you have with other, you know, whether they're symbolic or actual, it doesn't matter in a way because it's an element of earth, it's an element of who we are. And That's I just funny. think it's really um, important not to tune that that aspect of yourself out. So I, I try to incorporate all of that into my gong bells. And I just say to people before I start, I'm sorry, I'm going full woo. Uh, you know, if you don't like it, just listen to it as if it's a story. Um, yes. But otherwise, you know, work with me <laughs> and see what but happens. You know? Human beings aren't that really imaginative to be able to think these things up. They all, <laughs> I find, they all, everything like that comes from a reality of um, truth, you know, and we and we know that we are not um, able to see all the different dimensional realms. And, you know, there is um, folklore about so many different things and, and I think they all have a grain of truth there um, or we wouldn't have, um, it, it, there wouldn't be a concept that we have. Uh, and and yes. the same with dragons. I know I posted a video recently um, on a Telegram site of a friend and there was a comment from a, you know, a professional. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm not listening to this. It's, she's mentioning dragons. <laughs> and I thought, well, you know what? It's time to really expand our thinking because if you think that that's something that's going to, you know, throw you, wait till you hear that our whole history is actually um been um you know manufactured and that <laughs> and that everything that we knew to be true pretty much is it's been inverted so um i think it's time to really yes. uh change yes. the way that we think about everything 
I think, and we are mystical by nature. Mm. It's just that we've been taught to deny it. Yes, um, absolutely. This is, this is what's really interesting, is that we've been so conditioned from birth not to think about these things, and yet, you know, I'm sure a lot more people than um, admit it have had visions or experiences. I, I mean, I had them from from childhood. Not, you know, all the time. I'm sure you, I think you're more, you were more attuned probably than me at that age, but... I saw, I think I told you before, um, a ghost ship, like a clipper, a clipper ship. Um, and we were sitting on Brighton Beach. I don't know if you know Brighton, but it's on the south coast of the UK. And well, we, we have a Brighton right. in Victoria, but a lot of oh, our okay. names come from, <laughs> a lot of our names come from, <laughs> from the UK anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, we were sitting on Brighton Beach looking out to sea. And I saw in front of me this humongous clipper, wow. but it wasn't, it had no depth. It was just like a shadow and with all the rigging. Yes. And this, I could see the shapes, it was facing forwards, I think. Wow. Um, and you could just see it in, in uh, you know, the sails and the rigging down the sides. And, and it was wow. enormous. Amazing. What did you think about that at that age? Well, did it, did I did, it scare I just you? Or, or, or... It. No, 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 I wasn't frightened no. in the least. I wasn't scared. Yeah. And I think, fortunately, I think my mother also saw it because she never denied it. Fantastic. And she didn't tell me, oh, don't be so silly. You know, mm. you, know you didn't imagine, you didn't see that. Wow. So, um, wow. That was fortunate. We had our disagreements later on, but at least, you know, she didn't shut that down. Oh, good. So, so the it's really interesting how the um, our ability to view these different dimensional realms is really expanding right now. You know, because mm. I, I believe that the frequency is shifting on the earth, and um, we're becoming more and more um, energetically at a higher frequency all the time. Mm. Um, and and so our abilities, our psychic abilities, our um, spiritual gifts are really becoming more and more um, obvious and more heightened. Things like telepathy yeah, and you know psychic abilities and things. Yeah. Um, so, I w have you noticed a big shift just recently in in, in the um, in the expansion of these gifts and abilities? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Totally. Totally. And I I'm aware. I've suddenly become aware of my plant that's just here. I just felt it sort of tune in. Um, I'm very aware of the energy of plants. Um, but also I get a lot of guidance, a lot of intuitive guidance, I, I guess from my oversoul, from my higher self, whatever you want to call it, um, especially uh, in self. matters relating to my health. Yeah, my higher self, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I get a lot of guidance there um, in relation to health. And, you know, I just suddenly get the urge to check something out and I'll find out that it exactly suits whatever it is that I'm having to deal with. And I think, you know, these ascension symptoms are obviously quite common that not everyone would call them that yeah yeah um, you know I've had various things like problems with my ears um, fatigue obviously weight gain um, mm -hmm. which you know people might say well you just stop eating so much you know I don't eat a lot really um, has you has you obviously your your intake hasn't changed but you but your weight's changed I mean I found that myself yes. as well I, yeah. I'm not eating in fact I'm probably eating less <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah. Exactly. yeah 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 no, it's quite it's quite bizarre Really, I, I, I see that as a, as a like a energetic um, defense sometimes that we put on yes. um, to sort of protect our energy field and protect our energy. It's not something that we do consciously, but it's a sort of like an unconscious protective barrier that we create I sometimes agree. through that. And um, I, I think that many, many people are experiencing this. And also I think the shift in the frequency impacts our physical vehicle, our bodies. Because yeah. our, our bodies are also changing and becoming lighter and they're adapting to this new high frequency energy and, and it could be all to do with that as well. I, I, yes, I think so. And also when, because, because you and I are both on the same page in terms of what we think about current situations, we say it like yes. that, um, we get attacked probably by people who are not um, in agreement. Um, I just got it. I've got, I'm in Facebook jail again. <laughs> right now because um, I posted <laughs> yeah. something and the then you want <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. weirdly yes um, <laughs> because I, I posted something from a sitting member of parliament mm -hmm. who was questioning something yes to do with uh, the you know the thing in the arm well it doesn't and, take uh, much I don't think no, does it? <laughs> no it's, it seems to be escalating 
yes yes it, it definitely seems to be escalating that, that yeah. my followers now on instagram have been frozen you've had that experience i know mm -hmm. um and mm -hmm. i see people yes. you know more and more people following and the numbers actually going down i know that happens i, I was surprised <laughs> that that happens on telegram because i would have thought that 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 was relatively insulated from all of that but I see people joining all the time and the numbers never change. <laughs> it's very strange and it does make me wonder just how independent Telegram actually is. Exactly, exactly. You know, because I, I do I do sometimes, sorry, I'm just pouring, topping up my coffee. Um, I sometimes wonder whether these alternative networks aren't a way of gathering information, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> on people who are alternative. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, uh, because it's like we're all in one place. Mm, there. Mm, mm. It, yeah, you, you don't know for sure. Um, yeah, I, I, I've noticed too um, some interesting um, reports come out since um, a certain uh, Prime Minister with the letter B in his name who just resigned. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we know who that is. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't, yes, yes, I I don't think we can mind. use names, so I'm being creative here. <laughs> Let's just say uh, Ojo. We can get away with that, probably. Uh, oh, yes. Everyone will know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, so since that happened, a report came out um, confirming that um, the people that have had this account for 94% of all the um, people that have, um, you know, passed oh, that, since thing. April. Yeah. Oh, oh. And, are we allowed to say that? Uh, yes, I'm just thinking of it. We've got to be really careful here. Haven't we? I, can, I can edit that bit out <laughs> and, and reword it. Um, okay. the, oh, since yes. uh, uh, the people that have um, gone bye byes, is that another way of saying it? Um, let's, say, let's say the people who, who have. Um, <laughs> we need to use. Say what do they call them? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, when you um, do it with your hands, what's that called? Um, uh, oh, <laughs> Yes. Sounds like. <laughs> okay, <yes>. Sounds like. <laughs> ah, but wow. anyway, um, yeah, I think yeah. people will be following along. So, um, ninety percent of which were had three of these or four of these. So, and that mm. all came out just when that happened. So it's interesting how you know when something big happens, something else gets quietly you know revealed under the carpet. Yeah. And, and tried to be sort of um, hushed up at the same time. So I know, I know. And, and it's all part of the game, really, isn't it? Because you don't really know who, you, whoever comes in to replace that person is probably, it's already been arranged, it's pre-arranged, you know, it's mm. all, they're all kind of playing their part and say, okay, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to step down and then you're going to take my place and this is going to happen. And it's all kind of scheduled, I think. Mm. Absolutely. And I, I just heard something else fascinating, just while we're on um, um, uh, Global News, that um, somebody with a little T in their name, that was the head of a country, uh, <laughs> a big country, um, signed, has signed an um, EO, you know what EOs oh, yes. are? Uh -huh. yes. I know what an EO is, yes. Has just signed <laughs> one, saying that any company that has um, Chinese... Um, any sort of Chinese backing um, is um, going to be uh, prosecuted and taken down, which basically covers <laughs> so many of the corporations and the companies and yeah. all of the media as well. <clears throat> so um, mm. if that's the case, they say within um, 24 hours to, what, two, three days or something, that they'll all go down. So that'll be interesting wow well, yeah. I mean how are things in Australia right now because it's, uh, it's been quite torrid for you guys hasn't it mm, it has been uh well you know I'm really happy because I've moved somewhere really really special oh yes <laughs> and this this background will give you an idea it's pretty much looks like that so <laughs> oh wow Oh. Very tropical. Um, so I'm happy with that. And I'm just making my mosaics and doing some videos and things, trying to keep abreast of everything, but um, mm. also keeping my own life in a high frequency and, you know, uh, yeah. doing the things that I love. So that that's my antidote to everything that's going on. But, um, you know, we, we did just have an election with a new prime minister, yes. uh, Albanese, came in and... Um, so um, the, 
you know, the shenanigans are continuing, of course. Um, many states, quite a few states have extended the state of emergency for virtually no reason whatsoever. And, um, you know, the, or, of course, all the true statistics based on this, the true figures are all hushed up mm. and, you know, there are a, a small amount of um, doctors trying to and, and a few nurses trying to make people aware. But, you know, of course, they're... Um, being um, threatened and intimidated with censorships and everything else and their, yeah, and their careers and their, you know, incomes so and everything. And, um, you know, the, the shelves are being affected by um, the food situation as well. You know, sometimes this, the supermarket, supermarkets don't have all the goods that uh, mm. they normally would. Um, and... Um, so we can we can see quite a few different um, things happening like that. I feel personally that there's a lot of good things happening. You know, when, when mm. I saw the GG being um, targeted and taken down, the the the, the stone, yes, the stones. That, that that was rather interesting. I, I was a bit I was shocked and delighted in both. Well, I, I was waiting for that to happen. I thought <laughs> that mm. felt to me like something. Another thing that I feel could happen would be um, that the um, the world, the uh, European leader, starting with M, macrame yes. sounds like macrame, <laughs> um, and the and the uh, <laughs> and the other one um, in uh, Canada, starting with T. Yes. I feel that they're both. Going to be um, potentially, you know, uh, not in in their positions too much longer. That's what it feels like. And you know, a lot of good mm -hmm. things like that. You know, with um, um, things happening around the world, and and and, the, and of course the. The Vatican um, under Rome, there's been all this um, smoke and fire, which, you know, many people mm. say is the DUMBS is being, um, yes, you know, yes, uh, kapow. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. that that would be a huge um, one of the key places um, for mm. that to be cleared out, and maybe they left that to last, you know. So who knows? But um, I feel that there's a lot going on underneath that's really, really positive. Um, and, and it feels like it's building up to a bit of a crescendo. Um, and I'm hoping that, you know, some big things happen sooner rather than later. How, how's your intuition on this? How does it feel to you? Well, it's, it's yeah, the funny thing is I was thinking I actually feel preternaturally calm. I'm really calm. Mm -hmm. And every now and again, I'll switch into a really, really high vibrational state. It's like a moment, it, a moment of pure bliss. I get it quite a lot during my gong sessions actually um i got I was, it during my mosaic class it just it's just like you suddenly kind of lift up yeah and and nothing can touch you and, it, and then you kind of dip in and out i find I'm, I'm a little bit like that dipping in and out of that mm. state but at the at the bottom of it all i'm just really calm that's great. I, I I found too, like you say, it sort of it can be up and down a little bit. You know, with meditation things, we try and um, form a, a, re a relatively steady road with it. But you know, you you're mm. human, and you know you do go up and down. And the other day, I, I did dip down quite quite deep into, like I felt my real stuff was coming, my real shadow stuff yeah. was all coming to the surface, and I was thinking about all the things. <laughs> need to work on myself and everything it was like oh one of those moments but you know I think that's all good too because that's part of you cleaning out the cupboard and um you know yeah. part of that process Absolutely as well agree. so yeah. I, th I think that's happening to people as well and um mm -hmm. you always know that when that happens it doesn't last often it doesn't last that long it, it will shift mm -hmm. relatively quickly you know within a day or days um but you know by going to that you're actually um, helping to transmute it. Yeah, I, I heard somebody say that the other day and I thought, oh, yeah, actually, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I know that we pick up more and more on the collective because we're getting more interconnected consciously. Yes. Um, 
but I hadn't really thought of it like that. I transmute things in my own way, you know, I sort of turn things around. Um, what do they call it? Pivot, isn't it? I think something like that. When you, 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 you're feeling bad about something, but then you, you flip it. Yes. So that you can see the positive aspect of it, and then all of a sudden it's gone. That's um, true. I, I, I also do feel, though, that in terms of the emotions that come with these things, often it's really good to be able to feel the depth of the emotion, even if it's sort of like sadness or or anger, yeah. whatever it is, because then, then you, when you go to the depth of that emotion, you actually can um, transmute it more easily. Because if if you don't really feel it, sometimes you can be just sort of, in a sense, suppressing it, and then it still stays mm. within you on some level. Mm -hmm. so I also That's think true. feeling the emotions, you know, the emotions are energy and motion. So it's like the ability to feel is is part of being a human being and and, and mm. um when when we're able to really um feel things we can we can move through them quite quickly yes i agree i mean you've had um well we've all had i think some emotional traumas to that, that have actually been teachers i think absolutely yes because i've been through quite a few nothing like what you've been through um actually i don't know if you want to talk about that or not but um, I've grown so much through all of them. And in fact, I used to think, God, you know, I've, I've wasted my life. You know, I've done a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I've not made a, a career, you know, career, like you're supposed to have a career, right? Um, and I used to think, oh, gosh, you know, I don't want to stick at something. And you know, But I, the thing is, when you can do more than one thing, as you know, it gets quite challenging to focus on that one thing. One thing, it's absolutely. A, you get yeah. bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need more stimulation. And B, you, <laughs> while you're doing one thing, you're thinking about the other thing that you're not doing. <laughs> um, but what was I going to say? So, no, I had an experience a few years ago where I suddenly had a kind of bird's eye view of my life. I was, It was like I was suddenly sitting on top of a mountain and I, could, I was looking down, seeing all these paths all leading to the point where I was actually sitting. And there were lots of detours and cul-de-sacs and things like that that I'd been on. Mm -hmm. But each one of those paths had given me something yes. that I'm now currently using. Absolutely. What a great way to look at it. Yeah. I, I and and, I, and I think bypassing the whole 3D matrix is, is, is mm. really a, quite a good thing because you're, you're leading the way forward um, on a path that isn't um the 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 you know the path that's been trodden by most people and 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 yes. that's actually going to be beneficial not only for now but also as we move forward into the golden age and the new earth and and a whole new way of being um that, that those can't skills wait. will be brilliant yeah can't wait can't wait well actually that's that's another thing that's another test isn't it the patience yes patience. yes patience. yes Light workers, yes. healers, starseeds, yes. all those people. That's one of their biggest lessons, I'm sure. I know it's mine as well. Um, but but I, I wanted to go back, backtrack to what you were saying earlier because I, I like to talk about things that um, – you know, are, you know, real. And and I did the, the experience, one of the experience I had, I had quite a few actually, but one of them was that I had um, the death of my uh, baby at birth as she was yeah. born just right at that time. And so that was a huge learning curve for you me. Know, I, I just think the, the whole um, way the world is set up has been to divide families and to so divide true. people. I mean, one simple yeah. thing is that you you have to work so hard at earning enough money just to survive oh, that it it yeah. deeply impacts um, families and, and, you know, relationships and, and all the ways that the world's been set up in order to make it really difficult for people to, to just be in their joy and to have these really interconnected, fantastic relationships and things. It's been set, set up yeah. against all that. So, you know, looking at all those things and... Um, you know, I have I have had some challenges with with those issues, of course, and um, I find now that I can maintain a level of neutrality because I've worked on it so much that now when I when I think about those things, I'm able to um, be relatively um, um, like an observer or in in you can still yeah. be in unconditional love but in non attachment, 
Um, and I think that's the key with thing where, where you're triggered or where you're getting a big reaction to something in a negative way where you're feeling really sad or angry or some some reaction like that. It's an indicator that that's something that needs more work from you. And that's something yeah. that you've also on a soul level chosen to experience to learn what you totally. need to learn. So totally. I, I feel like I, I've really learned a lot in that way and, and I'm able to maintain this level of neutrality now. Um, which I, I couldn't before, and and um, so I'm, I'm I'm really thrilled that 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 is the case because I know that I'm really growing and evolving, you know, in, mm. in my own um, being. So, yeah, very interesting. Uh, speaking about your child that you lost, yes. Do you because you're psychic, uh, because you're a psychic and a medium? I mean, do you are you receiving? communications at all from that child well uh, yes i feel she's with me all the time if i tune okay. into her you know um i can connect with her on the inner i i don't tune in all the time with her but i feel like she's there a lot but also i know that she has her own path on the other side and i don't want to interfere with that so i know mm -hmm. she's got things to do on the other side that are important and yeah. i don't want to be um um, you know, monopolising her time because I just want to, you know. So um, there's there's that aspect to it. You know, when, when I was going through the earlier times of, you know, working through the grief and everything like that, there were times when um, I wrote a song about her and my partner was playing it and she she was bouncing on the bed. The, the, the covers were moving up and down and the bed was going up and down and she was wow. literally bouncing on the bed and another time with my one of my daughters who was singing happy birthday on her birthday and the light went out for like a minute so wow. while we were singing it so I know I know that if I I call her and I want her to be there she'll be with me I know she's one of the sort of spiritual team that are with me a lot especially in times of you know need when I when I need more support uh, but I know she has things to do over there and, and, and that's really important as well. And mm. she feels to me um, like she's with me um, very deeply a lot of the time. And in fact, and I know this sound a bit weird, but my, my children are now in another state. And I'm in another state. And I've I've invited my, my son was keen in coming. I kept inviting him to come up, but you know, he he hasn't come up yet, even though he's wanted to, but he hasn't come up. And so um, you know, in some ways she's with me more because do you know what I'm saying? Because she's in well, spirit. There's no, there's no there. distance. Yeah, yeah whereas whereas they're, you know, in another state. So yeah, it's a funny thing. And and, and the other thing I would say to that is that family is a concept that has been very 3D. So mm. Your family are not just the people that were your birth family. And, in fact, often your birth family are souls that you've come in to work through a lot of karma with. You know, there's a lot of karma mm -hmm. often in, in families. So, and, and um, you know, so we, we incarnate with birth families for lots of those reasons as well. But we also have our spiritual tribe around us who are our family. And, and all humanity is our family. You know, everyone in the world is our family. We're all one consciousness. Yeah. We're all one. So... Um, when you go through situations where you have um, a death in the family like that, in some ways it makes you see a bigger picture that actually, in truth, there is no separation and we're all interconnected and we are all one anyway. And even when they're on the other side, we're still connected and, and um, there is no separation. Um, so, yeah, yeah, that's how I view it. Interesting, going back a little bit to something that you said while you were explaining all of that, um, we we're talking about the interconnective, interconnectivity, is that the word, um, mm -hmm. of everything. And I'm more and more seeing that this kind of online communication, it's, it's a quantum thing, okay? it's not just the internet thing, but we are connecting energetically. Yes, And speaking so true. of which, I'm gonna, gonna say this so that we both remember, because I want to talk about Uluru and the um what's it called again the not the plumed serpent the other one uh, oh the called? rainbow serpent the, yes let me just check my yes. notes yeah rainbow yeah exactly the rainbow serpent yes and that connection with glastonbury with avebury with all these with the with the michael mary line in in the uk this major ley line that transits right through yes uh, the lower part of um, of the uk so anyway 
just saying that so neither of us forgets. Okay. I want sure. to talk about this the quantum effect. The, the quantum meaning, relationship. Quantum. Yeah. And okay. the fact that I'm trying to explain to people why, why it is, for example, when some people listen to my recordings of gongs, that they actually feel the physical sim the physical effects. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, oh, I have clients around the world. I have clients globally and, and I work with their energy and it's exactly the same as if they were standing in the room with me mm -hmm. or if they're online. It's, there's even no more difference. So, don't you find? Sorry? Even more? Don't you find even more? So yeah, yeah, there's no yeah barrier? absolutely. Absolutely. And, and you really focus energetically on them and, and it's, it, it's extremely powerful. You know, you feel... Mm. You feel their energy so strongly, and like you say, when you're connecting um, around the world online, it's it it's has so many impacts um, on so many levels. That connection, you're you're unifying your quantum fields. Um, you're you're expanding. Like say, we're both feeling sort of a loving energy. We're expanding that in the world together, mm -hmm. and 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 you know we wouldn't. We wouldn't be able to do that unless we had that online relationship where we can yeah. connect in this way. Um, it, it, it would be, I mean, I guess you could talk on the phone, but when you can see someone and talk to them, it's it, just... It's easier, I suppose. If you yeah, person, it is. It? it is. It but is. I, I mean, again, you can do it. You can do it easily, the same on the phone yeah. as, as not. But mm -hmm. um, I don't know, there's just something with it that... that really makes you able to connect with like-minded souls, you know, our spiritual mm. family in a way that's so um, beautiful and, and effortless. And yeah. Um, yeah. so I think the, the internet perhaps potentially was created for, you know, negative or nefarious uh, Do you know, I don't think thing. it was originally. I think that the guy, it was Tim Berners-Lee who yep. invented it. Yes. I yes. don't think he was nefarious at all. No, no, no. Him. But they were trying to hijack it for that the, yeah. purpose. But it's actually yeah. in the other way, it's gone and it's created this incredible connection with all people around the world um, and expanded the um, the light and the and the um, ability for us to liberate ourselves from control. Yeah. So it's, it's worked in a different way to what they anticipated. I mean, look at this. I mean, there you are in, in Australia, for goodness yes. sake. <laughs> and I'm yes, in London. Yes. Absolutely. That's amazing. I know. I was so excited to um, chat with you today, too. I was really looking forward to it. So, you know, I, I mean, that, that, that raises my joy all day. I'm excited thinking about it. And then I... And then I, um, I'm putting that out in the world, you know, <laughs> and we're yeah. all doing that. It's great. Well, actually, this is a better time of day for me because, you know, around about 11 p.m., I'm ready for bed, really. That's that's my natural bedtime. Yeah. So I was struggling. I've been drinking coffee all day to try and be, to stay, to try and stay alert enough to be able to have a, a good chat with you. Uh, and then oh. we got our timings mixed up. <laughs> oh. So, it, you know, it was fine. No, so this actually works better because it's, oh, it's daylight where you are. It's daylight where I am. Excellent. So it kind of feels a bit more balanced, you know, so. Yes. I'm, I'm happy about yes. that. Yes. Yes. Another yeah. synchronicity too. I've just started oh. working on a whole lot of, um, beautiful mosaic things, uh, projects, and you've got all these lovely mosaic tiles behind you. So. But another thing. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. yes don't, because they're not actually tiles. It's fabric. Oh, it's, really? It's, 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 yeah. It's it's a piece of, it's just stapled onto a wooden frame. Oh, it's cool. Completely fake. I, don't, yeah, I forgot. I was thinking, what's she talking about? It's very Moroccan. And I remembered. Yeah. yeah. And, I, you know, I just, I picked it up because, I, you know, I, I have my, my, Office is in my bedroom. I don't want to share my bedroom with the no. world. Right? So <laughs> no. I picked up the screen. <laughs> I can understand. <laughs> Second hand, yeah, you can understand that, right? So, um, and then I thought, actually, I was my intention was to cover it with other things, uh, but I, I, I like it as it is. It's lovely, it. beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. It's kind of joyful. Yes, it is. It really is. Anything with color is lovely. So, mm. shall we talk about um, what we call it, Uluru? Uh, yeah, which oh, is I the huge wrong, rock sorry. in red rock yes. in um, Northern Territory, which mm. many think is is the um, sort of um, like a spiritual birthplace, um, really energetically. So, um, yeah, what would you like to chat about? Well, I just I, I just wanted to chat around it because I think there's another reason why we might be connecting 
because energetically the land masses are actually connected. Yes. Um, yes. Through the sh and the, I think Glastonbury, I think is is it the heart chakra? I think I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, did I write it down? I, I love oh, Glastonbury. No, I that really calls to me. You know the Avalon times, the Camelot yes. times, that that beautiful yeah. divine goddess energy. Um, it really calls to me. I, I, I'd love to go and visit there. Um, it's an interesting place. That's where I went. That's where I met um, Huna Flash. Actually, he was doing oh. his burning mask thing. Yes. And um, yeah, it's a very hippie town. Let's say that. Yes. But beautiful. The the beautiful. land itself, and the the natural springs. There are two springs there that are sacred. Mm, the water well, sources and the white uh, that spring, divine. Yeah. It's got, they um, create that divine feminine um, yes. source energy. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's very beautiful, the energies. Particularly, I mean, I haven't actually, to be fair, I haven't been to the Chal as well because it's quite usually full of people um, and I prefer to go to places that are less popular, really. Uh, so I went to the White Spring, but I found it really magical. And I think, you know, for anyone who's a healer or um, a seer or any kind of energetic energy worker um would be drawn to that place because there is so much there but there's also there's there's darkness hidden underneath it's a lot of psychics who do um deep earth healing work are yes. working on you know because right. these points yes i think particularly I've, I've heard people talk about obelisks and towers and how and they stone hinge a points. lot of um Stonehenge, you know, yeah. Dark, dark um, ceremonial stuff that's gone on there. Yeah, 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 that needs to be healed. Mm. Um, and there are apparently, I mean, what's his name again? Um, um, is it Aldivar? Al, I can't remember his name. Alaba? Alaba, Alaba? yes. Yes. I, yes, I forget. I, I, I interviewed him. Jones, did you? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, um, you did. Yes, I yes. listened to it, actually. Yes, and we're yeah, in touch. So, He's lovely. He okay. lives actually not that well. I've just moved, and I'm on an shall I say on an island? <laughs> on an island. No, I wasn't really. Oh, are you? <laughs> okay. I literally am. <laughs> but um, <Wow>. he's <laughs> he's down uh, uh, Byron Bay way uh, around there, and um, oh. so yeah, um, he 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 does some wonderful work, um, and um, he, he's been doing a lot. Um, just recently, and and some with um, a, a wonderful master hawk that I also chat to. Yes, I haven't really investigated him very much, but he looks he, he's just got a lovely vibe. He has he looks adorable, beautiful. Sort of, yes, just energy is really special. Yes, and have, have you lovely. heard of a lady called um, what's her name, Lisa Renee? Yes, yes, she does great um, work, I'm, really good. She work. does, yeah. yeah. And there's also Lucia Renee, okay. who wrote a book really good book i highly recommend it called escaping the patriarchy yeah um, it's not a new book but she also goes around the world um untangling yes she has some great things that she says that are like yes. invocations to to um create a um more uh, mindful um higher reality yeah and disconnecting yeah, totally. from the old systems yeah Yes, and undoing them. I'm not sure how much of this we should probably talk about, but uh, you know, undoing the machinations. Yes, like that. Yes, uh, and restoring. Lucky we've got a big vocabulary, hey? Yeah, it's <laughs> <that's laughs> the words we can draw from. I know. <laughs> so restoring things to their right balance and and yeah. harmony, harmony. We need harmony, and we need harmony between the genders. We need harmony between countries. You know. Mm. It, this is what I think we're both probably trying to do is Definitely. to bring that balance and harmony back. Um, Definitely. To awaken that connection to the planet, the true connection, the real, real deep connection. Well, that, that I, I guess it, in, in, a, in some way it's, it's um, really reflected too in, in people's opinions about this, you know, so people who mm. are pro this and people who are not this, you know, everyone has the right to their own opinion and, and the right to their yeah. own choice. And it's about even if it doesn't align with your own belief system, you know, it's so important to learn to honour and respect other people's opinion even on, I don't know if respect is the right word, but to honour and um, allow 
them to have a platform to speak their truth in the way that you would choose to speak your truth um, freely as well. And and I had this talk to my father who is, um, you know, had three or four now, I think four now, and, and who's pro this. But we had that conversation where, you know, we both said that, you know, you know, we love each other and we have a very, very different mm-hmm. viewpoints, like he's 92, just mm-hmm. turned. But um, it's so important to be able to have a conversation that is um, constructive on that topic, you know, and that, and that you can finish that conversation and still have the same love and the same mm-hmm. um, connection that, that you had prior to that conversation because it shouldn't impact you know, how we feel about one another if someone has a different viewpoint about something. And, you know, something like that can be extremely divisive, of course, because it's about mm. life and death in, in many of our uh, of opinions. Um, yeah. But that is the test too at the moment to be able to maintain a level of maturity, you know, emotional maturity, to be able to honour one another's viewpoints, even if they are completely um opposing this in is that it. way I, know. I mean I, I had that with with my ex and I actually had to unfriend him on Facebook because he wouldn't allow me my opinion exactly exactly but then he um, then he wants to tell me that I'm closing him down um, and I said <laughs> okay well you know we won't be friends on Facebook but it doesn't mean I'm not your friend we're still friends we still actually we go out we do we go and see concerts together we do a lot together still Yes, and I, you know, I care about him, even though he's my ex. You know, I don't have any bad feelings towards him whatsoever. Um, but we just don't talk about that. Yes, 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 and, and and that's that's so important to be able to um to to come to that sort of level of maturity. I think with with mm. everything, you know, that as we move forward in a, a more advanced um, earth. Uh, yeah, I agree, and I think you know because if you have had a relationship that didn't work out, you don't have to suddenly become their enemy. No, I've never of understood not. that. I, oh, I've never no. in my life. I, I'm friends with pretty much all my exes, the ones that are still alive. Yes, you know. Yes, um, we're friends. Fantastic. Yes, yes. And I don't see. I don't understand people who suddenly hate the person that they loved. You know how can mm. you? It can't be love if you then hate subsequently and, and very much a, a sort of an immature defense mechanism um mm. that people are um you know acting out you know if, if yeah totally that. yeah 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 so um w- w- what's it like what's the um the atmosphere like in in the uk at the moment what, what how are people feeling do you think about things yeah i think well, I try, I, at the moment, I'm sort of in neutral, so I'm not, I don't engage, because I work for myself as well, so I spend a lot of time working on my own business. I, I interact with people in social situations, but I'm not really mixing, I don't mix with people who are kind of in fully enmeshed with the 3D, if we call it that, the 3D reality. Sure. So I couldn't give a total picture. I can only give a picture of what I experience. And my experience is that lots of people are actually feeling quite light. Great. The people that I interact with, whether they're actual friends or whether just acquaintances, they, they seem to be quite, yeah, quite, quite light, quite sort of upbeat. Right. Yeah. And there isn't a sense of doom, despite the fact that that keeps getting pushed. The, the I don't born. feel that. Yeah. yeah, I don't feel that sense of doom. Yes, um, in in the general vibe. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, but I can't yeah. speak for everybody because I don't mix with people who uh, who buy into the whole fear thing. You know, I don't mix Absolutely. with those people, and and even my in my family, we don't talk about it because yeah. I'm the only one who hasn't had the you know what. Um, yeah, we just don't talk about it. We just. Yes. There for each other if we need each other. Yeah. And we love each other. Yes. That's it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Such an interesting time. Is it? <laughs> oh, gosh. my gosh. I mean, there have been moments when I thought, I don't know how I'm going to endure this. 
Mm. They have. I've had those moments. Although yeah, I'm sure everyone has. Very calm. Yeah, yeah. you're just yeah. over it. Some occasionally, times when you're just over it, and you go, "I'll oh, just hurry up and get to the new world for you." I know, <laughs> you but just... I suppose, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is that the amount of time that it's been, um, that it's taken to be installed, it it couldn't disappear overnight because there's there's a huge amount of work to do in order to restore things to the way they should be. That's right. Just imagine yeah. sort of deconstructing a whole system, a whole planetary system, yeah. and then reconstructing it again in a different way yeah. that's much more is, um, in alignment with, 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 you know, just justice and humanity and um, fairness yeah. and equality and peace and all those, those qualities. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is going. It's it's going to be very interesting, and I I kind of feel like we are in the holding. Not the holding pen sounds wrong. That sounds like an imprisonment. I don't mean that. Um, I like a little bit of limbo. Uh, yeah, like a, a sort of prep preparatory chrysalis. Yeah. That's better, chrysalis yeah. kind of state. Yes. Because I'm thinking, God, you know, because I I burned myself out earlier this year because I hadn't been replenishing my energy, been sort of giving out, giving out, and also doing all the processing of all this, you know, the sort of things that we talk about yes. um, and not really having a, a community around me who could replenish me. So I actually had to take a lot of time off, yeah. which was frustrating for me, but I couldn't actually do anything about it because I had no energy. And that's, you know, when we did our first interview, I was right in the thick of it then. I had no energy at all yeah. and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't achieve anything, um, but now it's I'm beginning to, to uh, shift out of that. But I, I think you know there's there's a reason that we're in this kind of state. It's almost like we're in the birth canal, kind of. Yes, yes. I, I find I can't um, think as clearly as I normally would. Um, these mm. things I don't remember. Really simple things. My memory's not yeah. working as well. Yes. You know, and yeah. I'm thinking. Um, I get the name. <laughs> simple things. Right? You know, things that are quite obvious, like, oh, good Lord, what's what's going on? But I do feel like um, this is part of the ascension symptoms and, and that when we go into fifth dimensional um, reality, you're very much, mm -hmm. one of the, the qualities of that is you're very much in the moment. It's all about the present moment, being in a completely absorbed in the now and, and you mm -hmm. don't focus on the past in or 3D. You, people often look back to the past and things like that, yeah. but... Now it's just everything's in the now. So I think that's one of the reasons why we can't think because I have so many people, so many clients say this to me as well. They can't think as clearly and they can't have that recall mm. that they used to have because we're actually learning to be 100% present in the now and in some ways you yeah. just sort of forget what's happened in the past. And yes. I, I had a girlfriend say to me, we knew each other at uni and she said to me, Oh, I remember when you came to my 21st. And do you remember when da 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 happened at my 21st? And I said, I said, oh my gosh, darling, I, I can't even remember what happened yesterday. <laughs> Don't ask me about the 21st. <laughs> so, so that's sort of like um, what, what I can say about that. <laughs> but I mean, I, 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 I think it's a positive thing because. I think that we're just really, um, our energy is really shifting. It's really evolving. It's mm. really growing. And, and, and that's a positive sign. Either that's that or I've got dementia. <laughs> <laughs> no, that thought crossed my mind as well. I thought, oh, my God, I hope I'm not losing my marbles. Yeah. No, but that, this is why, you know, that little film I sent you, this is why I decided to, to make that. It, you know, I channeled it um, last year. Yes. And then I thought, I just had the urge to make it into a little film, so perhaps I'll share it later. That is um, so beautiful. I'd love everyone to see it. At the end of this chat, yeah, I'm going to I can share, share the trailer little... version, the slightly shorter version. Okay. Is like that the one that I can chat. put on the end? That's a good one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. It's so beautiful. So everyone watch it at the end. I think you'll love it. And um, I can see... It's got it, light it, language in it. This is actually the first time I'd actually recorded myself doing light language. Haven't Lovely. done it before, and I thought, okay, if there's ever a time to do it, now's the time. It's beautiful, um, and the words are lovely that you channeled, and the message, obviously, the content, and and then of course the images that go with it as well. Really, really beautiful. Well done. It's, it's lovely. Um, 
And if I could uh, just mention to people too that I've set up a mm. community because you were talking earlier about how yes. people want to be part of community now and 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 I think that's really true. So I had quite a few clients say to me, oh, look, I feel isolated, I feel alone, I feel like I need to talk mm. to people that are on the same page because a lot of the people around them were people that were doing this and they weren't on yeah. that page. Um, exactly. So I set up a Patreon community and it has beautiful members and they do amazing things and I share you know their work and their businesses and I, I do lots of interesting posts about things happening in the world and there's different mm. levels that you can join as well and I also have groups like a, a soul healing group that does healing for Australia but also ourselves and also for the mm. globe for the world and also a, a community chat so if people just want to get on and chat about what's happening in the world they can join as well and um, right. yeah Thank you. So it, it, it's I've had people uh, members saying that that you know they're really enjoying it, really loving it. So please feel welcome to check it out, everyone that's listening. I'll put a link mm. below and um, um, yeah. That, I'm going that, to that. sign up for that actually. Oh, it's not time means... specific, is it? No, it's, it's not time specific. It's just right. um, yeah, you just join, pay. You can pay, you know, three dollars even. Um, you know, is is the basic level, and then you're you're on board and then uh, but there's different levels with different offers so um yeah um, welcoming everyone inviting everyone because cool. um the, the more people there you know the more we'll have to offer one another and um exactly. it's, it's going to be great yeah I do know one thing that, that you haven't actually specifically talked about is the other aspects of the work that you do. Because uh, you're, you're a spiritual counsellor, aren't you? You're a healer. Yes, yes. yes there's absolutely. so many other aspects of what you do as well. Oh, thank you for asking, Alicia. Well, um, I guess what you could say is um, I have clients who come to me with all sorts of issues about what's happening in their life. And, and basically what I do is I read your energy field and then I pick up um, what's the priority, what's the most important thing, what it is we do, healing work on it, energetic healing work. I've got some high beings that I work with that come through and, and do some work on this. And then I also um, uh, give resources, tools and information for people to empower themselves and to go home and mm -hmm. do, do continued work on themselves if they choose. And um, we, we cover a lot of territory in a one hour session. And we, it can also incorporate, well, there's like a hundred different um, techniques and things that come up, you know, for people. But um, past lives can be part of it. You know, it can be also things yes. like I can read their Akashic records. Um, there's things like, um, you know, relationships can come up, you know, financial stuff, abundance issues. It can be um, health issues, all, all sorts of things. But uh, mm. it, it's fascinating because you hold that all in your energy. You're the co-creator. And when you go in and shift your energy on the inner, you shift the um, external. And that's Very the funny. way to really make big um, accelerated progress. This is yeah, and this is how that this is how it's going to happen. Is exactly. When people realize it's down to them. It's not down to an outside force. It's down to them. Exactly. As, as an individual, and again, yeah. that's why I made the film. It's it's down to, to everybody to wake themselves up, even if they think they're already awake. You know, to make sure to really look. <gasps> There's always honestly, something to work on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And honestly, you know, the authenticity, yeah. integrity. And self honesty, yes, are like that. You just you can't avoid those. One can't avoid those. Not you. Um, I know you're there already, um, but it's just vital. Right Absolutely, now, it takes courage, to, doesn't it? It does take courage to really look at yourself. It does. It does. I remember making that choice when I was about thirty just a few mm. years ago, <laughs> not really, but anyway. Um, and I, I remember saying to myself, I'm going to go in and I'm going to confront all the things about myself that I haven't really looked at to that point, you know. And then I went in fully and I went in um, in the deepest way I possibly could to, to truly go and look at every single thing that I felt needed addressing. And I have since that time continued to work on things because it never ends. But mm. it was a conscious choice because um, it was like I armoured up 
and then I went in and I did it. And you know what? It's been such a brilliant um, uh, resource or, or um, help for me at this time with everything happening on the planet yes. because I'd done all that work on myself. I was therefore more capable of being able to really um, mm -hmm. work with, with clients and to support clients through this process and through doing this work as well because I'd, I'd, I'd put so much intense time into working on myself. Um, and, you know, it can be quicker now to work on it because of the energies and the frequency. You know, it is quicker mm. to work through stuff. And you, things like, you know, working with the Lords of Karma, you can ask for karmic releases and dispensations rather than having to physically trawl through karma. You can do things like reframing where you have a traumatic incident in your life and you can reframe it using certain tools and then you can mm. completely release any cellular trauma related to it so that when you think about it again, you're not triggered and it's neutral. There's so many mm. important things we need to do. Forgiveness is another really key one at the moment That's too. That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. Huge, where um, mm. it's really important to just make sure that every single human being that you've encountered in this lifetime or that you remember from previous lifetimes, you've gone in and done the work to completely forgive so that you're completely neutral and you don't do it necessarily for the other person, you do it for yourself because yeah. that means you're clear yeah. well, you're not, and then you're not holding it exactly exactly yeah. yes yes and i remember hearing about this incredible um villager from a village in um oh it was in the south pacific or something but there was this um um these marauders that came in and they i remember hearing that they they murdered everyone in the village but this person was out in the forest at the time so they escaped and they came back and all the villages that they knew all the family and people that they knew were, were um, murdered and so um, this being just then went and um, worked on forgiveness for the for the people that came in and did that and was able to get to this complete state of forgiveness um, mm -hmm. and non non um, attachment neutrality for the people that did that and and to, and to be able to forgive them and i mean that to me is a huge um symbol for for what humankind are capable of um to be able I to get so. to to that level and and when you think someone can do that it shows that pretty much all of us can do it in some way um, we're gonna have to be we're gonna be asked to do that very soon i think that's so you know, true when, that's so true that's a fantastic point out, Mm, yeah. exactly um, exactly especially because... if, if people are not aware of what's been going on and how we actually yeah. have been um you know there have been people working against us being alive yeah. that don't want us here yeah. you know and 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 we're going to be asked to go to the deep deepest levels of um grace um mm -hmm. to be able to to, to forgive these beings some of them aren't even uh human i don't think and um mm -hmm be able to not hold on to anger or resentment with that. Um, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a big challenge, but I think that's why we're in this hiatus right now. Yes, you know, yes. This is sort of building our reserves, energy, perhaps. Building <laughs> our reserves, you know, yes, yes. working up to it because yeah. you know, it's coming. You can kind of feel it. I don't know. Where do I think? Where? Uh, I think we're kind of like, Two thirds of the way up the mountain right now. Sure. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And it's trusting that divine timing as well, mm. because you know we don't have, uh, we're not the divine. We're not God. We don't have that. Oh, we are. We're part of God, but we don't have yes. that full picture of everything, so that we can see the full, full scope of what's going on. So on some level, yeah, you just it's about trusting. Um, and not allowing the, the 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 negative information that's out there to, to go in and really damage your equilibrium too much, you know? Mm. Mm. Absolutely. That's a good point. Yeah. Oh, I good. should say my website. Yes. Is <laughs> Absolutely. Hushhour.net. So hush hour meaning giving yourself time is taking time out for yourself to allow yourself to breathe to allow yourself to stop and stop rushing about it's the opposite of rushing so that's okay. that's why the title and my logo is the pause button um, and my website can be found everywhere in the world of course and there are recordings 
of meditations and gong baths now available. Some are free, some are not. Um, and maybe I should start a Patreon, actually. Really yes, absolutely. Much, but, and, and I'll put your link yeah. below. So Alicia's link Please is below. Do, yes. And um, also my links below. <laughs> so yes. um, for Alicia's audience, I have um, medina.com. But you've got to check the spelling because nobody can spell my name. <laughs> so <laughs> M-E-D-Y-H-N-E. And um, so if you go to my website there, I've got all, I've got artwork for sale. I've got books. I've got sessions. Mm. And I've got my Patreon community and also you know, the YouTube channel, Lincoln. So for anyone out there, would love you to um, subscribe to my channel and, and like and share. The I'm getting, uh, again, shadow banned on that. So oh, the numbers yeah. had oh, been going to down. Subscribe a bit. to my YouTube as well, please. Yes, yes. Both of ours. Yes, beautiful. Yes. It's so wonderful to chat with you. Could I'm chat sorry. all day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. And we'll do another one soon as well. For, yes. For the that would be lovely. Cool. So thank, thank you, everyone, for, for, for listening and, and for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, leave a comment below because I love your comments as well and um, how you're going at the moment. And um, if anybody wants to contact us, our details will be below. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Medina. Thank you. Thanks. Beautiful. Bye. <laughs>